What's going on? It's the Rap Nerd, and it is a new week, so that means it's a new vlog for my physical media pickups. So I'm gonna start with the joints that I picked up last week. I was gonna do a video for that, but I know there were new releases this week, and I told myself I'll just wait to compile all of these in one week. So let's get into what I picked up last week first. Now, the first film on this list is In a Violent Nature. If you've been following my channel and saw one of my physical media vlogs from a few weeks ago, you'll see that I bought the DVD and I bought that just in case the Blu-ray didn't come with a slipcase because as I mentioned there, I was just gonna use that slipcase for the Blu-ray if it didn't come with one, but thankfully it came with this dope slipcase. I really, really love this. And granted, this was released like two weeks ago, but somehow this thing sold out completely on almost every internet store that sells physical media. And what's crazy is I actually pre-ordered this and when it came to release day, it was sold out. I don't know how that happened. What's the point of doing a pre-order if you're not gonna have the movie there and available? So I was able to go on Orbit's DVD, which is a store I think in Asheville, North Carolina, and they have a really good selection of a lot of big boutique label films. And they're doing the Lord's work because what you can do is you can go online and it'll tell you if the movie has the slipper or not because I believe that they know that there are collectors like myself who really want movies with the slipcase and they let you know straight up so I was able to get my hands on this on that website bought it for retail as well it only cost me 20 bucks and again I love this slipcase similar to the DVD except the DVD is white this has the all red on it but the same artwork and again I always love when artwork for films is not the standard poster just really makes my day to have a different slipcase. So that's the front, this thing is beautiful. Turn it around and that's on the back. And this is a collector's edition, so there are some special things that come with this. So I'll show you that now. Okay. The inside is what you see on the slipcase. We've got two discs with two different arts, which I think is dope. This is just a Blu-ray, so both of these are Blu-ray. This is the film right here. And then this is the special features and behind the scenes of the film. I just love having different art for two discs. I think that that's just another level of design that I appreciate personally. So what this also came with, the poster. So if you look here, it's got Johnny back there. You got the artwork right here. A quote saying nasty as f and just a few little things here talking about the movie. And while this isn't a traditional poster, I still like it just because if I were to hang it up, it's something that especially came with the film. And I just think it makes the release that much more of an experience than just giving me the discs, which I do appreciate as well, but I love little trinkets like this. That came with the Blu-ray and this was a must grab for me. One of my favorite horror movies of the year and a great twist on a slasher. Really enjoy this film a lot. Like I hope somebody can make like a Funko with Johnny. That'd be dope to add to my Funko collection, but In a Violent Nature, I had to grab this. Now the next film that I had pre-ordered alongside In a Violent Nature is Cuckoo which is insane to me that this also sold out on Amazon, sold out on Walmart. I was able to order this from Target for about 18 bucks, and I'm just happy to have my hands on it as well. And just a disclaimer that this slipcase did not come with the movie. The movie does not have a slipcase. And when I learned that, based on seeing other people get their copies, when I ordered this from Target, I got a custom slipcase made by my guy on Instagram who I talk about a lot, named Custom Slip Covers. And I was like, you know what, since I'm getting it custom made, I'm gonna pick a custom image just to separate this from any other copy. And I think that this is dope. I went with the character poster as the slipcase and this junk just looks official. I love the artwork for this. Turn it around and it has all of the features that you see on the back of the Blu-ray. I'll show you the inside what that looks like. So open that up. And this is the artwork that the movie came with. I do like this artwork actually, and I was hoping the slipcase had this art, but it didn't. So I just got my own joint. And then the back, as I said, the same as what I got on my slipcase. There's no need to go into what's inside because this is just a standard Blu-ray copy with no special things on the inside. But I love this movie as well. One of my favorites of the year and had to add it to my collection. I'm holding out that they'll release like a 4K in the future, whether it be with a slip case or even a steel book version. I am going to pick that up. I don't mind getting doubles anymore. I know when I first started doing my physical media, I was shunning doubles. But at the point I'm at with physical media, it's literally a love for me. Always has been. And I just love having different versions and different artwork for movies that I love specifically. So Cuckoo, I had to add that to my collection. 
And the next film is a special edition release, which I am so happy to have had this. It's another horror movie that released this year, and it is a found footage movie. The name of this movie is Frogman. Now, you can find a standard copy of this in Walmart for like $18, I believe. And I remember when those things hit shelves, I had to really, really stop myself from buying it, knowing that I ordered a special edition. And I am so glad that I held out and actually bought this version. So, first of all, the artwork on this box is different. And this is a hard box, slip box. Turn that to the side. Turn that to the back. And this is a Terror Vision release. So it is exclusive and there are no more versions of these to purchase. They sold out in a few days. I think there were only a thousand of these. And because I loved it so much, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna spend the extra paper to get some exclusive shit. And I'm so happy. Let's get into this. So first it comes with a postcard. Welcome to Loveland, which is the city that the movie is based in. Turn it around. And you can actually send this to somebody, which is dope. Not gonna do it because it's mine, but... I just like these little cool little trinkets. It also comes with a booklet of behind the scenes of the film right here. And it has different images from the film. If you see that image, you're like, what the hell? Yes, this movie is pretty crazy and it's such an entertaining ride. Can't flick through all of this, but as you can imagine with most booklets that come with behind the scenes stuff, it's all little stuff that you can sink your teeth in as to how the movie was made the way it was. Always love me a good booklet to come with a Blu-ray release. And next, it comes with a poster, which I always appreciate as well. So this is the artwork from the box right here. And it's reversible, so you turn that bad boy around. And you have the original poster for the movie right here. For old man. And of course, it comes with the film. And this version is what's in Walmart. So it has the same slipcase. And everything you can find this in Walmart for $18 if you don't want all of that stuff and if you're a fan of found footage movies I would say go ahead and just blind buy it because this movie is hella entertaining and I loved it can't wait to pop this in and watch it again that's the back of it of course the movie here behind the scenes here and this is just some pretty cool artwork man and then when you take the discs out there's also art here with the face of the frog man right there in the distorted look like the VHS tape Super, super dope. Love the inclusion of all of this detail just within the art itself. And also wanted to mention this slipcase itself is pretty tough. It's like cardboard. It's not the typical flimsier version of slipcases. And I appreciate the detail on that as well. So this hands down joins the group of one of my favorite releases this year. And always love me some special edition stuff. So Frogman. Now, next are the two movies that released earlier this week, Tuesday, and the first one on that list is Trap. Really, really enjoyed this film a lot. The latest joint by M. Night Shyamalan, and it's just a, a, a fun ride of a film. It stars Josh Harnett, who plays a serial killer, taking his daughter to a concert, and the cops have set his ass up, and he has to figure his way out of the trap. Now, the first thing about this is I love the artwork. I love that it's not the standard poster. As I've said many times, and I will continue to say, I just think that it's dope when they craft a different image. I love when they craft a different image when they could just be lazy and use the poster. So I like that you see uh, Raven here is the singer and the crowd is looking at her. Just a dope piece of artwork all in all. And a message for folks out there who are in the slip cases, the standard Blu-ray, does not have a slip case so if you want the slip you're gonna have to buy the 4k and this doesn't come with a blu-ray so it's just a 4k and the digital so just wanted to put that out there for folks who wonder like me all in all standard version of the movie this is another one that i hope gets a steelbook release next year and if it does i'm gonna pick it up as long as the artwork is dope but i'm actually cool with this if they don't release anything so trap had to add it to my collection Now, the last film that released earlier this week that I had to cop is the Steelbook for Krampus. The Christmas campy horror brought to us by Mike Daltrey, who at this point, he's just doing an incredible job with the holidays. He brought us Trick or Treat, which is hands down my favorite Halloween movie outside of the Halloween franchise, of course. 
and this is definitely up the same alley in regards to how the trick or treat is except it's his own feature length movie this is not a short but just the production value and the balance of horror and campiness gets it down to a T and I actually have another 4k version from Shout Factory with a slipcase with also some dope artwork so yes I have doubles because I love this movie it's one of my favorite Christmas horror films to date and when I saw the still book I said I gotta have that I love this art got to have that so you see that hand here holding that tab with Krampus in it present and then when you flip it you actually see Krampus there I really like this so when you open it in totality you see Krampus right there and I cannot wait to watch this movie when December hits in this holiday season it's a good thing my wife loves this movie we watch it every year since its release so again having a still book just makes it that much more special for me of course you turn it around here and you have the 4k and blu-ray disc that is the inside you see the entire family and if you've seen the movie you know what's happening here this is when shit really gets real so that's the inside and again the front and back Ooh, we get so dope so krampus still book had to add it again to my collection don't mind it having doubles because i do love the movie and definitely get us a watch if you have it i believe it's on hbo max right now and if you already are in christmas mode Go ahead and watch it, especially as a horror fan. So much fun. You could definitely see where Mike got inspiration from other family Christmas films and just kind of did his horror twist on those. So absolutely love this movie and had to pick it up. So those are the films that I picked up this week. Let me know in the comments what did you buy, whether it be a new release or something that is an older release that you got your hands on. There are a lot of things releasing this month in December. So put me on game to whatever it is that you got. And if you are in the physical media space, make your videos, your photos, make your accounts. to send a message to the studios that physical media is still well and alive and we buy it. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. Until next time, peace. Rap nerd productions, no capping, that's word to mommy. Instead of banking on it, no rapping is just a hobby. <laughs>